When you're assembling your blocks into a quilt top, you might want to put in cornerstones. That's a little contrasting piece that goes in between the rows of sashing. Today, I'm going to share with you two different methods to put cornerstones into your sashing. To put cornerstones into your sashing, you begin with just the same way as you would do plain sashing. And you can check on the tutorial if you want to see how to do plain sashing. But you begin by cutting your sashing strips and joining it to the side of each block, remembering that there's going to be the block on the end of the row that doesn't have sashing joined to it because it's going to be in between the blocks. And then once you've done this, then there are two different options. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can add cornerstones into your sashing. The first method for putting cornerstones into your sashing is to join the cornerstone to each piece before the pieces are put into rows. So to do that, I've taken the cornerstone and the cornerstone is just a little square in contrasting color that's the same size as the sashing and I've joined the cornerstone to a piece of sashing that's the same size as the block. Then I'm going to join this piece onto each block. Keeping in mind that it will only be the top rows, the row on the bottom of the quilt won't have a row of sashing because that is the edge. On the blocks that are at the end of the rows and they don't have a strip of sashing, then we're going to add just one strip of sashing on the side so that it will line up. So then so we're making our blocks look like this. So we will have a block with sashing and a cornerstone, block, sashing and a cornerstone, and then a block just with sashing, and then we will join those into rows. Once you've joined this little sashing strips and the cornerstone onto each block, then we can join these as blocks into rows. So once these pieces have been joined into rows, then we're just going to put the rows together just the same. And of course the row at the bottom doesn't have the row with cornerstones. So this is one way to add cornerstones, but I'm going to show you another way that you can also add cornerstones to your pieces. The second way you can add cornerstones to your pieces is by making all your rows just as normal with the sashing pieces in between and then making sashing rows that have the cornerstones already in them. Then these rows can just be stitched together. So you'll have block, cornerstone, block, cornerstone, etc. and then end with the block row. So once you have all the rows joined together, then your quilt top is done with sashing and cornerstones. Whichever construction method you use, the end result will be the same. So now you're ready to put on borders. For more quilting tutorials, patterns, and tips, be sure to visit EBITDA Studio.